Hello and welcome to this Brave Dojo guide on tack grids, sino placement, and you. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of tack grids using the new ACL shared bookmarks system in game and how that can help sino placement and help you be saved if you ever get tackled in a rock call. The first thing you want to do when setting up your tacks is make sure that you do it in the Brave temporary folder so that any FCs, anyone else can access this folder and see your tacks. Shatterdama has already set up a mining anum tack grid here. I've just set it up in a separate folder just for the purposes of this video, but typically you want to use this and set the bookmarks to 48 hour expiry so that you don't clutter up the folder. If you don't have access to this folder, ask someone who does have access. So you can ask an alliance or in fleet and they can link you the folder and then you will have access. As you can see, I've already set up the center tack. This is typically just the warping point for the... Uh, the Anum, so right in the middle of the site, that's where I'm sat right now. And then you want to go around 200 kilometers in each direction, and then 200 kilometers up and 200 kilometers down. To make sure all of these are in the folder. Ideally, your tack grid, when finished, should look something like this 200 kilometers off in each cardinal direction, with the red line being north, as well as up and down. The more you add to the tack grid, the better, but this is the rough minimum that you should be aiming for. As you can see, this rock will have managed to get tackled one way or another, and the hostiles have dropped Sino inhib. This cargo container here represents the inhib. Typically, hostiles will drop the inhib out of range so that they can maintain range control while still being within rep range of the inhib, and we'll use this to our advantage. I'm going to be showing you two methods. The first method takes longer, but sometimes is your only option. What you want to do is you want to walk to the tack that is on the opposite side of the rock wall from the inhib or the closest to the opposite side of the rock wall. For us, this will be the south tack here. You want to be doing this whilst you're in panic with your rock or if uh, it's someone else's rock, you have all the time you need to set up on grid whilst they're tanking. You will be moving cloaked. I'm just doing it decloaked right now to show you faster for the video. But then on land, going to align to the inhib and warp to it at 100. This will drag us into the bubble, but we will take our time to slow boat after this. Back out of the bubbles to 100k off the inhib. We need to burn an extra 45-ish kilometers. We're going to be doing it with prop on just for the video. The aim here is to get within fax wrap range of the rock wall whilst being outside of the sino inhib range. So that we can only need to use one sino We'd be doing this all cloak, so obviously it'd take quite a bit longer than I just showed. But if you have enough time to set up, this way will always work. You're now 100 kilometers off the inhib, but within fax rep range of the rock call. So you light your sino, fax is land, reps land the rock call, the rock call is saved. The other method that I'm going to be showing you, bubble the rock call again. We're going to warp to our up tuck again, so we'll be set on our perch. Inhibs in the same position. However, whilst I'm doing this in an empty plot of space, typically you'll be doing this on a mining anum. In a mining anum, there are lots of rocks and rat wrecks and all kinds of things that will give you warp ins to place your signer. In this example, we're going to just stay on our uh, little perch here. We're going to eyeball roughly where we think a good warp in will be to be around 100 kilometers off the inhib, whilst still within range of the rock. If you need to, you can warp to the various tacks to compare distances. However, I've set up this cargo container to be a good warp in. So this could be a rack wreck, it could be rock, just anything that can give you a warp in to get to the get in range of the rock whilst being out of range of the sino and hip. As you can see this is perfectly 100 kilometers off, but also within range of the rock. Sometimes you might have to warp at 10k from a rock, 20k from a rock, but the best part is you're not going to get caught by the bubbles if you do this. This isn't always perfect, you can't always do this, which is why I showed you the first technique, but if you're able to find a wreck that will give you a good warp in, that means you have to either slow boat less or you don't have to slow boat at all. That's much better than having to slow, risk slow boating all the way out of a bubble and getting decloaked. 
if you have any questions, feel free to contact me in game. My name's Sandra and Stone, as always. You can also contact me on Slack or ping any of the random FCs that we have in Brave. Thank you for watching. I hope this guide's helped.